I have loved every moment that has brought us here. Cynthia Christopher, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Blake, my love, can you believe that it is finally this someday we always talked about? I still feel like it's too good to be true, like I am living someone else's life and someday they're going to come back and take my spot. You are the best gift I have ever received and I do not deserve you. I found my journal from back when we first met, and it is filled with pages upon pages of memories and thoughts about you. It starts with me trying to convince myself that no one as perfect as you would ever be interested in me. That I wasn't allowed to date you anyways because you were my coworker. Trying to find some flaw in you to break the enchantment you had over me. I soon realized it was useless, that you had stolen my heart and it was going to stay that way. Three years later, and here we are, about to promise our forevers to each other. I am so happy to have you the rest of my life to show you how much you mean to me because I could never explain it on this piece of paper. You have taught me what love really means. You have witnessed my worst character. You've seen pain that nobody else sees and you've walked with me through the hardest times of my life.
hasn't always been fun, and it hasn't always been easy, but you never fail to make me feel like a queen. You are still the gentleman that I fell in love with, serenading me with Jadot, walking me to the car and opening my door, checking to make sure I get home safely. They are the little things that make a big difference. The way you live your life is inspiring. You give 100% of yourself to everything you do and never stop trying to improve. You're going to be an amazing father and doctor or whatever you decide to become. Everyone who knows you can see there is something special about you. I still feel selfish for having you to myself and thank God for you every single day. I promise to never stop learning about you, being fascinated by you, and finding your reasons to fall in love with you. I promise to continue to work on my heart so that I can love you with confidence. I promise to be your accountability partner and biggest fan to not keep score because we are on the same team. I love you more with every heartbeat. Today is going to be amazing. Let's soak in every moment. I miss you and cannot wait to see your handsome face. Your wife today. P.S. You do not need to cry for me to know that you care. Sentia, my love, my so soon to be wife, my comfort, my warmth, my happiness, and my holder of my heart, my desires, and my thoughts. You are everything to me. Without you, I am only but half a person, if that. Still, so clearly, I can see the first time I saw you. The only word to describe the feeling was home. The relationship grew steadily from long trips to the grocery stores and hours at the crepe maker. From these experiences, I was privileged to see how great and genuine a person you are. You then introduced me to my second family, or better said, a portion of a family that was missing. My parents and I immediately fell completely and utterly in love with you and all of your family. Since I was a boy, I have always had a one rule for myself before I asked to marry and that was that I would spend at least two years with the person before I made the decision to ask. From this, I could see the person in all four seasons multiple times. I could see them sick, stressed, and melancholy, as well as healthy, relaxed, and joyful. For a long time, I didn't believe that there was a person out there for me, but after spending nearly three and a half years together, I have no doubt that you are the only person for me. Thank you for being the light in my life. I promise that you will always have a voice in my ears. I promise that I will always love you, cherish you, and respect you. I promise to stay faithful to you in sickness and in health. I promise to do my best and to make our love grow stronger each and every day. And I promise to always be your best friend and biggest fan. The next time we see each other, we'll be starting our lives together as one being. I couldn't be more excited for that. No words can amount to how much I love you. You're soon to be husband, Blake. I made it through. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're so beautiful. My wife had a catering business. So Santia came and interviewed with my wife. She left and 15 minutes later, Heidi calls me, I'm working out of town at the time, and she says, I just met Blake's wife. Oh my God. Yeah. Where are you tonight? 
skunk. A skunk or a skunk? I remember that uh, Blake started to, uh, you know, you could see the little twinkle in his eye. I love you. If I had to, if I had to go try to pick a girl for my son to marry, I wouldn't have the imagination to pick someone as special, we know. <laughs> special as Sandia. Tia came to me and she said, Heidi, would you like a mother-son dance? And I said, oh my gosh, I would love one. <laughs> and I have to tell you that this day means so much to me because A, I was supposed to die when he was two. surrounded by all of this love and to be able to watch you marry the most beautiful human I've ever met is just I love you so much so yes you're going to dance with me and yes I'm going to embarrass you one last time hard Please let this last forever. 